All right, all right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all Anagorian praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha Hakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations that are hopefully let. All right. So, it's your brother Azariah here with the Pittsburgh GMS camp coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakhakodash. Lord willing, it's edifying. All right. And, um, this is just basically like a lightweight response to a video I saw from the Elder Manatha Zakba out there in South Carolina. All right. And uh, basically, um, he was rebuking this dude, uh, the Kingdom of Israel, I, be, I believe was his name. All right. And, uh, you know, uh, the angle or the thing that I'm responding to is the particular, uh, this whole guy had a doctrine about uh, the apostles saying that we should not wear um, shorts to camp was adding unto the scriptures and which is not true okay it's just uh you know it's it's like a matter of fact this this wasn't a uh, in my mind okay okay let me see let's get a pre-sale right because the most high puts the spirit on on the men that he's dealing with okay to send out certain decrees but really, it's all through the utterances and the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai that the, that these men make these statements. Okay, and we do believe the men of Great Millstone start with the Apostle Har on down to be the men of the Lord, the mouthpiece of the Most High on the planet Earth. All right, and so there's decrees that come out. Okay, that we that we give respect to. Okay, as understanding spiritually that the Most High put these things in these men's mouth. Okay, so listen. Let's read this. First Corinthians. 14 and 37 says, If any man think of himself to be a prophet or spiritual, let him acknowledge that the things that I write unto you are the commandments of the Lord, right? And that was from the Apostle Paul, right? So if you think of yourself to be spiritual, you understand that all things happen through the will of Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai. And you see that the Lord is dealing with these men, okay, so you should have uh, 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 at least consideration of the things that are said out of these men's mouth and, and look into them and think about them and say, and if you're in Great Millstone, okay, unless you want to get kicked out, you should take heed to these things. Now, the people that are without, you know, it is what it is, you know, and uh, they, you can't be made to do anything. But uh, there's a reason why the spirit hops on these men, okay, to say these different things, okay. So the title of the lesson is more than likely going to be Breaches and, uh, and, and Respect, okay. And I got a few uh, precepts basically going into the Breaches. That the priests wore because because priests were required to wear breeches when they approached the altar of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, so let's get uh, this first precept, Exodus twenty eight. And okay, just kind of going into what the breeches are. Okay, and um, just you know giving the explanation, Exodus twenty eight. Okay, boom. So Salak, Exodus twenty eight. Let's go down and start at verse 42, which is basically close to the bottom from that mistake. In. All right, Exodus 28 and 42 says, matter of fact, uh, let's restart at 41. Uh, nope. Let's start at 40. It says, And for Aaron's sons thou shalt make coats, and thou shalt make for them girdles, and bonnets shalt thou make for them for glory and for beauty. And thou shalt put them upon Aaron thy brother and his sons with him. Thou shalt anoint them, and consecrate them, and sanctify them, that they may minister unto me in the priest's office. Okay, so the Most High, okay, uh, specify a certain clothing that the priests were supposed to wear, the sons of Aaron, right? It says, let's continue. Verse 42, And thou shalt make them linen breeches to cover their nakedness. All right? From the loins, even unto the thighs, they shall reach. Okay? So there's supposed to be a certain length uh, for these uh, for these breeches that would be underneath these garments, okay? All right, and we know that Yahweh Shai wore a garment down to the foot, okay? And so that's why you see the men of Great Millstone with garments down to the foot. A lot of these guys in these camps, they wear t-shirts with fringes, okay? But we're patterning ourselves after our Messiah, Yahweh Shai, and so that's why we wear garments all the way down to the foot. You see how much fabric I had to take up just then, and then, you know, with the fringes in the border of blue, okay? 
I believe there was even a story uh, where there was a uh, woman who was on the ground and she grabbed the hem of Yahweh Shai's uh, um, garment. And, but, you know, we know according to the scriptures, he wore a garment down to the foot. So that's what we pattern ourselves after, after our big brother Yahweh Shai. Okay. Which he's more than our brother. But, you know, if we be of the elect, then we'll be fellow heirs with him, making us, you know, like his brothers. So let's continue. Uh, Exodus 20, okay, 28, uh, so I it jumped to the top. And 43, it says, uh, and so let's read that again, 42. And thou shalt make them linen breeches to cover their nakedness from the loins even unto the thighs they shall reach. And they shall be upon Aaron and upon his sons when they come in unto the tabernacle of the congregation or when they come near unto the altar to minister in the holy place that they bear not iniquity and die. It shall be a statue forever unto him and his seed after him. So this was to keep them, this was to protect them from angering Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai because the Most High is very particular, okay? He's very particular about how he likes things to be done, all right? And he required that your nakedness be covered. And so that's why you had to wear breeches, okay, from, from, the, from the loins even unto the, uh, to the thigh, okay? Now, Apostle Heart through the Spirit, said that you should wear full pants, okay? Because, you know, who knows why he did it exactly through the Spirit, but it was all through the Spirit. And also, you know, if you if you let a guy wear whatever they want, some guys will take advantage. And they'll wear, you know, these little track shorts and just inappropriate stuff, you know? And so, to just keep it simple, it's all, it's, it's almost like unto this recent, the recent thing that Apostle Hart said, <sighs> where he said, if your hair is longer than his, then you should just go join IUIC. Well, because... Who's to say how long is too long? And so just to keep it simple, he's like, look, man, you know, because it could have been that somebody was wearing too short or some shorts on a video or something, and he had to check it. And so rather than be all specific, you got to measure your shorts and then now just wear pants. You see, just wear pants. And I'm just extrapolating because I don't know, you know, why the spirit had that happen. But... These breeches are were to cover your nakedness and they were to be a certain length. Okay? And so now it just you know to cut out all the confusion, just wear shorts. Now let's continue. I mean not shorts. Don't wear shorts, wear pants a lot. <laughs> slip slip with the tongue, man. Alright, so let's continue, man. Exodus six, right? Go to Exodus six. And we're gonna jump to verse ten. Uh let's wait. Back to the list because I might have wrote that down wrong. Leviticus 6 and 10. Leviticus 6. Let's just click it. Leviticus 6 and 10 says, And the priest shall put on his linen garment, and his linen breeches shall he put upon his flesh. And take up, matter of fact, there's a little bit more. Uh, Leviticus 6. All right. Leviticus 6 and 6. So this was concerning if someone have sinned or done anything and the priest was going to make a sacrifice for this person, right? Uh, so let's, let's just read verse 6. And he shall bring his trespass and offering unto Yahweh, a ram without blemish, out of the flock, with thy estimation for a trespass offering unto the priest. And the priest shall make an atonement for him before the Most High, and it shall be forgiven him for anything of all that he hath done in trespassing therein. And the Most High spake unto Moses, saying, Command Aaron and his sons, saying, This is the law of the burnt offering. It is the burnt offering because of the burning upon the altar all night unto the morning, and the fire of the altar shall be burning in it. And the priest shall put on his linen garment, and put his and his linen breeches shall he put upon his flesh, and take up the ashes which the fire hath consumed with the burnt offering on the altar, and he shall put them beside the altar. Okay? 
So in order to touch the ashes, he had to put on his garment. Then after he gets it, this is what it says. And he shall put off his garments and put on other garments and carry forth the ashes without the camp unto a clean place. So just kind of showing you that the Most High had a very particular way he wanted things done. In order to touch the ashes, he had to make sure he had on his breeches and his, and his holy linen garments and all these different things. But then after he took the ashes and put them aside, then he could take them off and put on another garment and go do something else. So... You know, the Most High is very particular, okay? So if you're mad at these, at, at the men, okay, the elder apostle to heart for, for making that decree, you're mad at the Most High because the Most High put the words in his mouth, put the spirit on him, and also the Most High himself is very particular. If you like that, you would be you would be mad at the Lord. What you mean I got to be being too specific? All right. Well, be destroyed because it wasn't no games, man. It said in the in the last precept that they be not destroyed, covered in nakedness, that they that they suffer not iniquity and be destroyed, man. The Lord wasn't playing around. You couldn't even come in the Lord's presence if you had a blemish, you know? We could get that, you know? The most high wasn't playing no games, man. Let me see, no. Let me see. If I can if I can find this a lot, you know. If I can find it, because you know the Most High wanted, you know, He wanted uh, uh, sins. I mean, not sins. He wanted the uh, the offering for sins without a blemish, and likewise, okay. Yeah, Leviticus twenty one and. 17 says, Speak unto Aaron, saying, Whosoever he be of thy seed in their generation that have any blemish, let him not approach to offer the bread of his power. For whatsoever man he be that hath a blemish, he shall not approach a blind man or lame or he that hath a flat nose or anything superfluous or a man that is broken footed or broken handed or crooked back or a dwarf or that hath a blemish in his eye or be scurvy or scabbed or have his stones broken. The Most High was very specific about who, what he wanted and what he would accept. Okay, No man that hath a blemish of the seed of Aaron, the priest shall come nigh to offer the offerings of the Most High made by fire. He hath a blemish, he shall not come nigh to offer the bread of his power. You, you see? He shall eat the bread of his power, both of the Most Holy and of the Holy. Only shall he not go in unto the veil, nor come nigh unto the altar, because it hath a blemish, that he profane not my sanctuaries, for I the Lord do sanctify them. You see? So come on, man. The Most High was very particular about what he would allow, okay? And he still is to this day, man. You know? Now there's grace and all these other things or whatever, you know? But at the end of the day, the Most High is very particular. And so you can't, what you gonna do? What you gonna tell the Most High you don't wanna do it? You see? And his men are out here telling you, the, uh, giving you the judgment on how to please you, how about Shimei was shot. All right? So let's get uh, a few more precepts. I'm not going to stretch it out too long. Uh, Leviticus 16. All right? Leviticus 16 and 4 says, He shall put on the holy linen coat. And he shall have the linen, linen breeches upon his flesh, and shall be girded with a linen girdle, and with a linen mitri shall he be attired. These are holy garments. Therefore shall he wash his flesh in water, and so put them on. So the garments is holy, and so you, you, you need to be having a bath, you know. Which, you know, brother should already know that. But, you know, you got to be clean before you put on these particular garments. Therefore shall he wash his flesh before he put on the garments, you see. So if you was unclean, you couldn't wear these. You ain't supposed to be putting on the garment necessarily, you know. And you know, just I'm just reading what it says, man. Okay. Ezekiel forty four, which is the next one. Forty-four. Let me start at verse fifteen. 
It says, But the priests, the Levites, the sons of Zadok, that kept the charge of my sanctuary, when the children of Israel went astray from me, they shall come near to me to minister unto me, and they shall stand before me to offer unto me the fat and the blood, saith the Most High Power. They shall enter into my sanctuary, and they shall salat. Yeah, I gotta keep reading. They shall enter into my sanctuary, and they shall come near to my table to minister unto me, and they shall keep my charge. And it shall come to pass that when they enter in at the gates of the inner court, they shall be clothed with linen garments, and no wool shall come upon them. Whilst they minister in the gates of the inner court and within, they shall have linen bonnets upon their heads, and they shall have linen breeches upon their loins, and they shall not gird themselves with anything that causeth sweat. Okay? So, I'm like, once again, the Most High is very particular. All right? That's just all I'm pointing out here. The Most High is particular about what he, what he wants. Now, all right, so since I brought all these scriptures up about, you know, the, uh, the altar and all these different things, okay, the, the modern day altar is when we're out on the highways and byways, okay? This is, the, this is the new sacrifice, okay? We are the new sacrifice. And so, likewise, we have to prepare the sacrifice properly, okay, unto Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai, okay? So let's get Romans 12. Classic. Let me go to it. That's a lucky. My cat's eating. Romans twelve. So you might hear that crunching. Romans twelve and one. Paul, a servant of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, called to be an apostle, separated unto the gospel of the Most High. Okay. So like, I don't think this is what I wanted. Nope. So like, yeah. Oh, Romans twelve and one. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High. Then you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. You see? So that's a reasonable service that we, you know, present our bodies a living sacrifice. And when, you know, what is the sacrifice of the Lord? Okay. Hebrews 13 and 15 says, By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to the Most High continually. That is, the fruit of, the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. And that's what we do out there on the highways and byways. Okay. And i got a few more. Just a few, two more i got lined up. And I'm going to just probably end it, Lord willing. You know. Matthew 18. to verse 20 it says for where two or three are gathered together in my name there am i in the midst of them okay so the most high is in the midst whenever two or three are gathered in his name okay and of course you know he dwelleth within us so even you know brothers says solo or whatever the case may be the most high has the angels giving you uh, utterances you know the holy spirit the angels giving you precepts you know and so the most high is dealing okay so you want to present yourself uh, acceptable for the, before the Most High and humble yourself before the Most High. And if the advice that's given, the spiritual advice that's given from them that have been put over you to uh, to minister unto you, uh, to uh, to watch over you, okay. If their advice is that you wear pants and don't wear shorts, then you should take heed, okay. It's not the discourse of the elders, all right. So uh, maybe I got one more. Because really, at the end of the day, as, as the other portion of this thing is, is respect, okay? And honestly, you're just giving respect unto the Most High. The due respect that He deserves, that's all. That's all it is, you know? Just being careful, watching your step, or as the scripture is about to say, keeping thy foot, which typically means to not speak out of turn, okay? But it also goes into being respectful. Because what is it when you, what do they call it when you go somewhere where you're not welcome? They call it a trespass. When you step onto someone's property, you're trespassing. So you don't want to trespass, okay, on, uh, you don't want to disrespect your house. I was trying to just to keep it simple. Uh, Ecclesiastes 5 and 1 says, Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of the Most High. 
and be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools, for they consider not that they do evil now, as it's talking about the sacrifice of fools. It's saying uh, speaking, but speaking out of turn and speaking too much shows a lack of respect. And so it goes back to respect. Keep thy foot, you know, watch your step. Watch your step, you see. And yeah, how about Shinya Bashan? Like I said, once again, he's very particular about how he operates. And he put the spirit on the apostle heart, elder apostle heart, to say, you know, pants at camp, okay? So you should take heed, okay, from the men that the Most High has sent to teach you. He has given you pastors according to his heart that shall feed you with wisdom and, uh, and knowledge and understanding, all right? So, Lord willing, that was an edifying lesson. I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopefully elect. With that, I'm going to say Shalom.